Hey, Holistic Health Crusaders, Dr. Ren here. And uh, just wanted to do a little video talking about these giant puffball mushrooms I found scouting yesterday. And if you could see the setup with my iPhone right now, you'd be cracking up because I totally plan on investing in one of like those monopod selfie sticks with a tripod, but I just haven't gotten to it yet. So I used what nature gifted me to sort of build like a little makeshift sort of log twig branch thing as my uh, natural selfie stick for today. Um, I'm here in Union County, New Jersey. Right behind me is a little bike path that they paved through the trails. It's in the 50s today. I can't believe just last Monday I was sailing in Venice Beach and it was like an awkward high of like 105 and today I had to get my glovesies out and, and everything. Um, but yeah, so yesterday I went mushroom scouting. I walked, you know, all through the woods and everything around here to see what kind of goodies and yumsies I could find. Um, it's really a high reishi year here on the East Coast. Um, I don't know if that has to do with some of the aftermath of Sandy, but we know that reishi appears when the ecosystem is coming to an end. So we've got a lot of dead trees and overturned trees that I'm finding a lot of reishi and uh, mycelium in. Uh, but speaking of being off, right off the path, uh, these giant puffball mushrooms tend to grow in the same area every year. But just like in Paul Stamets' book, Mycelium Running, it fascinates me that you don't have to go deep into the woods to find mushrooms because if you think about it, the, the trails, um, the mycelium runs along the trails because as animal and people, we keep, you know, crushing, you know, the, the debris and, and all the different elements here and creating that food for the mushrooms. So you don't have to go far. I mean, I did go pretty deep yesterday just for fun and for meditation, but the majority of the mushrooms I found, which happened to be uh, the puffball and turkey tail and reishi and some artist kunk were right along the path. So I just wanted to show you from start to finish, I'll probably do this as a two-part video of how I'm about to harvest these guys and then take them home and uh, saute them. So just in general with me, I, I don't necessarily need them for these mushrooms, but I always keep my Swiss Army knife with me. And yes, my uh, Swiss Army case is blinged out because I am a Jersey girl and they haven't created a Swiss Army iPhone so I can just have an all-in-one like everything else. But I'm not really going to use this today. Uh, what's, what's awesome about the giant puffball is their size. Uh, it's unmistakable and we know size matters, right you guys? How you doing? Uh, so these can be like from the size of a softball up until, oh my god, it's like as large as one of the like the largest pumpkins you've ever seen. But I typically find them in this region about the size of a soccer ball on average. And you know they have this very distinctive white color uh, and they're very firm to the touch almost not that I'm a fan of tofu but like a firm or firmer than firm tofu uh, feeling and we're looking for the white here uh, and what I'm gonna do after I harvest them is I'm going to take them home and I'll show you later I'll cut them in half lengthwise to check for any you know yellow brown or black and if that's the case then I would discard it I hear oh there's people coming so for now um, I'm just going to thank nature for finding it. And there's some more over here, so I'm also going to leave some for nature. And it's 11.44 in the afternoon. And for me personally, I love to harvest my medicinal herbs between 11 and 2 because that's when I feel and I've been taught that the primal life force, the energy is up into 
you know, that plant or herb or flower, uh, you know, because it, it comes up through the roots as we wake up to the sun and it's at its peak around noon. And then as, you know, the day moves on, the energy begins to progress and go back into the roots to become dormant to go to sleepy. So I'm going to just go ahead and just move these around circular. It's just my style. There's no method to this madness. And as you can see, uh, a beautiful, beautiful, huge, like, like almost dinosaur egg shape. It's, it's really lovely. Um, these do pick up the flavors of the things that are around its area. Um, and what you cook it with. So they they do turn out to be really delish. So we're gonna take this baby and this baby home for dinner. Din, 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 din. And we're going to leave these little two, and there's one that's about a, a third of this size up on the hill a little bit more. I brought my mushroom harvesting bag. Um, compliments of Four Sigma Foods. That's my on shrooms bag, so I'll go home and I'll hashtag this up and I'll see you guys in the Renshi Kachina. Smooches, love yas. Wild women eat wild food. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs>
So I'm gonna light this up and just talk to you guys while I while I slice this baby a little more. And again, I'm gonna discard this piece for my compost. Um, I should come a little closer. How you doing? <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and preferably use a ceramic knife, but this is this will work for today, my stainless one. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, since this is a lot of mushroom for just little old me to eat, is I have my parchment paper ready over here. So I'm gonna slice these into some smaller quarters and freeze them for use during the winter. And that's one of the reasons why I picked both of the large mushrooms today. And I also have a, I'm gonna saute some with some ghee, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I've got some soup already ready to go. I was going to throw some of the sauteed pieces in and have for lunch. But one of my favorite recipes ever, believe it or not, is growing up, I was a huge fan of French toast. And I've come to be able to substitute and replace a lot of those ingredients with more healthy varieties. So I love giant puffball mushroom French toast where you use these slices in lieu of bread. And um, if you're an egg consumer, yes, you can dip it in egg batter or, you know, an energy or egg substitute. And then you want to take that coated mixture with the egg or egg substitute and dip it in a flour or flour substitute like Bob's Red Mill. You know, I told Bob I like my boys a little bit older when we were hanging out at the last fancy food show in New York. Um, but yeah, so pretty much I'm going to continue slicing this. And let me, uh, this is Om Ghee from my episode get geet up that four part episode we filmed at the crossroads in garwood so you can do this in uh you know coconut oil olive oil again this is clarified butter or ghee um and you're i'm gonna saute this and make it super yumsy um, and I know you see me rubbing the ghee on my hand. What's really awesome sauce is uh, you may have seen last week I was uh, in the Dr. Oz studio and I was sitting next to one of my girlfriends, Shweta Parmar. And Shweta taught me to use ghee like I had this eye infection once and I put the ghee around the eye and actually got a blister from walking in my Camudos uh, recently in California at the Women's Wellness Conference. So I've been keeping it moisturized instead of with Neosporin and that kind of junk with ghee. So yeah, again, I'm just gonna slice this up nice and throw it right in there to uh, saute and you can already begin to hear it sizzling. Uh, and again, this has like a tofu-like texture um, and total yumsy, so. I gotta watch this one off of kind of, somebody, I posted this one uh, on my Instagram yesterday, which is uh, dr underscore r-e-n, and somebody said it looked like a booty. <laughs> Too much booty in the pants of bun dance, right? All right, you guys, so smooches. Uh, keep following me for more healthy recipes on wild harvested medicinal mushrooms, although no medicinal claims made. And today we're gonna saute these, throw some in the soup, Free some of the parchment paper for winter time, and tomorrow for breakfast, I'm gonna have some French toast with my uh, puffball mushroom. All right, guys, smooches. Okay, so one last thing, you guys. See, this is the slice and the skin right here and i'm just going to go ahead and peel the skin off just like that and that'll go into my compost because if i were to cook it not that it would be bad it would just be extra rubbery so see very simple very easy very simple beautiful Mwah. <laughs> smooches <laughs> Yeah, and see it's, uh, it stays pretty uh, firm, but yummy! Mm. 
looks like mozzarella, doesn't it? <laughs> Another good use for these is to layer with eggplant and make like a a flow a faux parmigiana. <laughs> Smooches. Mm -hmm.